Well, good afternoon. My name is Melanie Adcock, and welcome to Get Her Done, Maximizing Your Freelancer Day. And uh, the best way to figure out what you could speak about on WordCamp is uh, find something that you struggle with and figure out a way to solve that problem and then teach others. So this is what I came up with. Um, tell you a little bit about myself very quickly. I've been a freelancer since 2010. Uh, I co I'm a co-owner of Adcock Creative Group with my husband, who's right here. Um, I've been developing websites since the late 90s. I've been using WordPress since around 2010, um, exclusively since 2011, and uh, I live in Noonan, Georgia. So, and there is my email address, which will uh, also be at the end. Um, what we're going to cover in this extremely fire hose of information in the 20 minutes that we have um, is recommended reading, uh, taming your inbox, no isn't a rejection, tracking your productivity so you know that number one, where you are now and that you're getting better, um, have a process for everything which is a whole talk by itself, and some project management tools. Uh, recommended reading, getting things done by David Allen. Number one on the list for a reason. Okay, take the stairs by Rory v Vaden. Procrastinate on purpose, same author, Rory Vaden. Um, Everybody Writes by Anne Hanley. And I'm a, I love checklists, so the checklist manifesto. I could actually have an hour long conversation with you just on that book alone. Okay, taming your inbox. Um, unsubscribe. You're not, they don't take it personally. Just get rid of the stuff that you don't really look at. Okay, get it out of your inbox. Um, use a third party tool. If you don't want to like necessarily always get rid of it totally, like I like coupons. I just don't want to see them unless I want them. So I use um, Unroll Me to put all my promotional emails in out of my inbox. They actually go into a folder in my inbox because I use Airmail 3 and I can go there and get my coupons when I want them but I don't have to see all those emails coming in every day. Um, this is from David Allen's get, um, Getting Things Done. When you get an email you do one of four things. You delegate it. You give it to your virtual assistant. You send it to your project man management tool. You defer it. Oh, I'm going to do that later. Send it to Trello. I'm going to delete it because just delete it. Don't leave it in your inbox, take it up room, just get rid of it. Or you do it right then. And he says if it takes less than two minutes to do, do it right then. I kind of flex it. If it takes less than five minutes, I'm probably going to stop and do it then. Um, otherwise, it goes to my project management tool. Um, set up a way to send from your inbox to your project management tool. Get it out of there, get it out of your head, and get it somewhere else. Don't worry, don't spend or waste your mental energy trying to remember things to do. If you get it out of your head, get it out of your inbox, uh, your, things aren't going to fall through the cracks. Set a schedule to check email and then turn it off. Okay, this is like the hardest thing in the world for me to do. Still, I check my email first thing in the morning, then I quit it. I don't. I don't look at my phone, I work for a few hours, then I'll open it back up again and check it. I actually schedule it and yes, I cheat sometimes, but every time I find myself chasing squirrels, it's because of my inbox and I turn it off. Turn off the indication of how many emails are showing up. You can do that. So it doesn't say 37 emails because that'll just drive you insane and then you're going to open it up to see what those 37 emails are. There's probably one valuable email in there and the rest is junk. So just turn off the little indicators. And uh, there's, there's a link here and there's links to the slides at the end on email hacks. And there's some great ones in this uh, resource I found online. Okay, track your productivity. Know where you're spending your time. I use rescue time. Love it. It takes a couple weeks for it to learn what you're doing and you have to tell it well, this is not wasting my time on the internet. This is actually research. This is actually communication time. 
when I'm talking to clients on Zoom. So it, you actually go in there and categorize it. So I did that for the first couple weeks and every once in a while I'll go in and tweak it again and it gives me a productivity score. Now, because I'm like data driven and I like to know how well I'm doing and I love, you know, I was the person that loved to get their report card. So uh, I wanna know how I'm doing. If I'm below 80% productivity, I consider that week a failure. So uh, I am like driven to make sure that, that I'm pro productive at least 80% of the time. Uh, toggle is another good one. Um, I threw in Focus at Will and Brain FM because they actually have music that you can put in your headphones and it helps you be more productive. It stops the, you know, the sounds in your house, you know, when you have the cat fight downstairs or uh, it just anything that's going to interrupt you, the guy with the lawnmower mowing your lawn. I wear Bose noise canceling headphones and when I'm at the, my most productive time, I actually have Brain FM on. So I can pick concentration music and it plays music that helps you concentrate. Headphones help. Earbuds help. Have a process for everything. This is what I learned from WP Elevation and from my business coach Nathan Ingram is have a checklist for everything and then use them and check things off. For your incoming, what, everything you do when you have a prospective client, have a checklist for that. For your client interview, I actually have a checklist of the things I'm going to ask. I actually have a list of questionnaires of things I'm going to ask them. So I don't forget. I don't want to depend on my memory. A proposal, everything that I do in a proposal, have a checklist. Design, I actually have a Trello checklist for design. I have a Trello checklist for development. I have one for pre-launch and launch and post-launch. And so the post-mortem, make sure that I actually know what I need to do after a website launches. I don't want to depend on my memory because it's just not going to, something's going to fall through the cracks always. Um, take the time to document your processes. This was the hardest thing for me to actually do and now every time I do something new. There's a um, loom. You can record your screen with a loom. So every time I do something that my virtual assistant hasn't done yet, I record it. And that way, now when I go on vacation next week, she's going to be doing everything. If something she hasn't done, I can just throw it into Trello for her and say, I want you to update this on the website. Here's how to do it. So I've been slowly teaching her everything that I do so she can take over the majority of the daily tasks. Um, create checklists of your processes. Create, create a development or stack of themes. And this is one of the things I do. I have uh, used WP Engine, so I actually have an install on WP Engine called Base Install. And it has all my plugins that I use on most all the sites. I use either Generate Press or Astra for my uh, themes, so it's got both of them installed on there has everything I need to start a website and I just have to copy it and create a development website. Takes about two minutes for WP Engine to spin that install up with everything I need to start a project. I also have that same setup on a local using desktop server so if I'm going to actually do development on my liquid web server I can pull out a backup buddy backup, throw that up there, have everything ready. Saves you a couple hours you don't have to worry that much about licensing. Some of them you have to put them in on every site, but it saves you a ton of time. Keep a list of all your serial numbers and keys for quick access. Mine's in a Google Doc. It's also in my, my address book, but then you have to switch to every one. But I actually have a list, a Google Doc that I just bring up, boom, 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 fill out all the licenses and I'm done. I use Manage WP, but there's Main WP, I think Sync, um, there's all these different web dashboards, so you can access all your client sites from one place. It saves you a ton of time. You don't have to know username, password, just boom, 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 you're in and out of websites and updating. Um, project management tools. Everybody's got a different kind of learning best practice. Some people learn by listening, some by watching, some by doing. Uh, you have to find a tool that works with the way you think. And uh, I've tried a bunch of these. 
Some didn't work for me, like Asana, it looks nice, drove me crazy, couldn't handle it. I want to see the whole thing in a big picture. So I use Trello because I can see my whole week at a glance. I can see you know, Monday, Tuesday, I can move things around. I love Trello. So um, I've tried Basecamp, I didn't like that one either. There's Monday, there's Plutio, DeSabo, Pancake. There's a gazillion, you have to try them. Use the free trial, try them out. Find one that works with the way you like to work and the way you think. But you've got to use something to manage your projects. If you're doing one project at a time, that's fine. But once you get two or three or four, it starts to become unmanageable and things fall through the cracks. Okay, there's more. <laughs> uh, these are some great tools to look at, better proposals for writing proposals. Uh, text expander, my new favorite thing in the world. If you've never heard of it, you can type little key codes and you can set your own little codes and it will expand the text. So for instance, when we came up with our business name, Adcock Creative Group, in hindsight, I would have liked something that was really short because I'm typing out Adcock, Melanie at Adcock Creative Group, now I type out period um, ACG. I just type ACG, it expands, puts my uh, email address in there, or puts my whole email address in. I even do that with some of my client stuff. When I have to keep re repeating the same things over again, I just create a little snippet in Text Expander and boom. That's how you're when you're on chat support and they keep, they just do something and all of a sudden you get this paragraph from them. They're using something like Text Expander. Blisk.io, mobile responsive testing for websites. Excellent, it's a, like a little Chrome browser that allows you to test on phones and tablets. It shows you what it looks like. Um, Coda or Transmit for FTP and editing together. Um, Astro Pro Sites, if you're not the world's greatest designer, um, then start with a starter site. Astro Pro has some wonderful ones. Um, get a coach to help you. If, you have, having, if you're struggling in your business, find somebody like Nathan, he's in the back there, um, or, an, or WP Elevation, or some other person that can help you get your business off the ground or can help you with things that are struggling. Because if you just keep knocking your head against the wall, you're not solving the problem. Sometimes you need to bring somebody in from the outside to help you. Um, you know, contact me, I'll be glad to answer questions. And uh, there you go. For more information, uh, you can contact me and Melanie Adcock Creative Group. My Twitter is MGA, at MGA Creative. And my slides are at adcockcreativegroup.com for so get her done. And I have one minute and 58, 58 seconds left. <laughs> I can't believe I got it done. <laughs> Do I have any questions? Yes. I, yes, I use Trello, um, and I, what I do is I actually have a, uh, a sample website Trello board set up that has um, information, design, uh, has just general information, design, uh, development, uh, pre-launch, launch, and post-launch columns, and then the cards go, and I create a, a board for each project. I invite my clients in so they can see where we are and what we've done. Um, if it's a small site, we'll do a card for each page um, and we can, they can see what's done and then they, they can check off on it and make sure. I have one for a month that just says incoming, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and then I have a weekend one. I actually have my shopping list on Trello there as well. More specifically, yeah. you're I have them all created on Trello so I can copy them from one board to another. So I have a development checklist and so when I go to uh, a new thing, I just boom, I have my development. Or if I want my VA to optimize the site using uh, Hummingbird, here's the checklist for Hummingbird. I have them all set and I keep tweaking them and adding um, as I go along. Yes? Uh, do, you, do you know if there's like specific times of day that Uh, better times of day for productivity. That's going to be a, um, a personal thing. I actually thought my most productive time was in the morning, but because of email 
and you know putting out fires and phone calls and stuff my most productive time is actually in the afternoon which I thought was my worst but according to rescue time it's what I get done the I spend more time working on websites in the afternoon than I do in the morning which was shocking to me so what you think you're being productive <laughs> you're not being productive at all um, it's a great eye-opener on you get to see where you're spending or where you're wasting your time thank you very much <laughs>